Hello YouTube, I'm gonna do a small tutorial how you can simulate the wireless link uh, according to your locations, the antennas you have and the terrain that surround your locations. So in order to do that we use Radio Mobile which is a software that has been like it says here on the, in the website since 1988. This is quite a while. There is a version you can download you have the download link here on the left you have all the steps you just have to follow the steps uh, because you have to do something by some of the things to install it by hand but some of you may not know there is a online version of it you just click online version and you log in you can register for free here on the left create a new account you can uh, register create a new account for free the free there is a paid version. The free version will allow you to use some frequencies. Not all frequencies are available. Of course, the paid version will let you choose the frequency you want. But the free version, uh, it's a bit limited in the frequencies. Other than that, everything else is uh, is available and uh, you can use it. I already logged in into the um, into the software. I'm just going to show you it here in uh, another tab. Just going to close this one. So this is the looks of it. <coughs> Pardon me. You have the um, these buttons. When you want to navigate, I'm just gonna press a button here. Don't press the back button because this will leave the software. This will go to the initial page of Radio Mobile. If you want to go, if you want to go back, always use the back button or the cancel. If that's the case, when you navigate on this on these menus. So what we're going to do, we're going to create two sites. Two sites are two locations, two places where you have your antennas and your radios. And uh, then you, we're going to create a new link. A new link is, is the link itself between those two sites. And when you create the new link, this is a place where you choose the um, transmit power, the antenna type, the gain of the antennas, the cable loss, the radio sensitivity, this is where you choose all those settings and uh, there's some other features here I might uh, talk about them in uh, future tutorials but for now we're gonna start by creating uh, one site just um, just to place the the location for the antennas I'm gonna choose here this is a Google Maps as you can see it's quite easy to use it we can use place cursor at center. Uh, almost at it. Change the satellite so I can see the exact location. Okay, where are we? We're right about over here. And this is the spot. Yeah, okay. Once you have your spot, you can drag it around. Once you have your location, you can leave it and uh, submit. He's going to show you the coordinates of that location. This is the name. I'm going to call it Site Site A, and uh, you have the altitude of that site. You can add a description and create a group. I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to add it. This is one site. I'm going to create a new site. It's going to do the, going to do the same thing again. And another good place to do another link. Once again, I have to put in satellite to look at the terrain because I recognize the locations better if I look at satellite. Okay, where are we? Hmm. Let me see if I can find that location. Okay, here it is. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna move it somewhere. Right about here. Submit. This is 170 meters above sea level. Site B and add to my sites. Okay, I have the two sites created. <clears throat> I just 
set up locations. I didn't set up any anything else. This is just location for your radios and antennas. Now I'm going to create a new link and now I will choose site A to site B. Oops, site B. This antenna height uh, it's useful if you have uh, for example a mast or a tower and this will add the meters uh, to the meters of you above sea level of your location in this case the site so if you have 800 meters above sea level your site is 100, 100, 100 800 meters above sea level uh, you can add another I don't know 20 meters if you have a 20 meters tower I'm going to just uh, do a 10 meter tower here and a 20 on on the other side this is just if you have those those towers it's it's good because it will increase the height of uh, of the location this is the name of it I'm just gonna put uh, a link A to B <coughs> and this is the frequency this is where this uh, free version is limited for 2.4 I cannot simulate at exactly 2.4. I the the available frequency closest to 2.4 is 2. Point, uh, 2.3. That's uh, 2,300 megahertz. If you want to simulate this link at uh, 5 gigahertz, you would have to use uh, 5,650 megahertz. So in this case I'm going to do a 2.4. I know this is not 2.4, it's 100 megahertz below. Uh, the conditions will not be the same, but um, it, it will be similar. Not the same. This is the transmit power of, um, of the radio that is uh, transmitting. So let's say you have 100 milliwatts. If you have 100 milliwatts, that's uh, a tenth of a watt. Uh, line loss 3 dB as normal and then again let's say we have a 24 dBi antenna a grid antenna something like that and here you have um, you know let's make it a 20 20 I'm gonna add line loss to this this is for the receive antenna sorry I didn't mention that this is for the receive antenna receive line loss and receive threshold this is the sensitivity of your radio and this in micro 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 volts I think um, it doesn't give you in uh, minus dBm it gives you in this uh, different different values so here usually you have to adjust I know that this will give me minus uh, 113 this value. I don't remember right now what's, what values I usually use to get around minus 92. Um, but just to have an idea, this this is set at minus 113. This is the required reliability, 70%. You want to, when you simulate your link, you can have um, you want to have at least 70% of rel reliability on the, on this link. So you have our locations, antenna height. This is the description, the frequency, transmit power, line losses of uh, transmit and receive, the antenna gains, transmit and receive, sensitivity, and reliability. Just submit. It's going to do a, a processing. And here we are. So, this is like the report of the link. We have the latitude, all those things we already knew before. Um, new things we don't have. Okay. Azimut. I'm going to show you the, the map below. Azimut. Azimut of site A, which is this one, is, the, is like the aiming direction you have to aim your antenna to reach the other the other side. So this this is like the the main thing to aim the antennas. You know the azimuth of your of your locations. So in this case, to to make site A 
to link with site B, at site A you have you have to point your antenna to the azimut 223, which is here. And on the other hand, if you're in site B, the azimut to, to reach site A is 43 degrees. So this is uh, this is the way I I usually aim my antennas. Uh, you just get a compass uh, with the degrees and uh, and more or less uh, usually I stand behind uh, the antenna and aim it the, to the right uh, azimut. Here you, all ha you also have the tilt. The tilt is a bit more difficult to aim by hand to have a correct tilt because you need something with the, with the, deg the, the degrees uh, in vertical. It's not impossible, but uh, it's a bit harder to make sure that the antenna is tilted to this exact uh, degrees. Other things, let's see what we have here. We have information about the, the loss of the free space um, according to the terrain. If there's forests, it's urban, uh, there's some uh, information about the losses over here and uh, about our radio. We have the 20 dBm, this is the 100 milliwatts, the line losses, the gains, the sensitivity, I told you was minus 113. Uh, I don't have any Wi-Fi radio that can do this or has this sensitivity. And down at the bottom, the good or the bad numbers. <laughs> we have the distance of the link, this is the precision, the frequency, the watts. This is the power irradiated from your radio uh, with that specific antenna. In this case, we use the 24 dBi antenna. System gain required real reliability, and this receive signal. And here you can see this with the these radios, these antennas. My receiving signal at site B would be minus 74. DBMs and this is fair, fairly fairly good enough signal. This is very good. So this means that this link can be done because it has minus 74 DBM at uh, at site B. Um, usually here this is fade margin. This fade margin is, uh, in my case, is wrong because my radio it's, uh, doesn't have this sensitivity. This is usually the difference between this and this. So let's say my radio was minus, uh, minus 90. If it was minus 90, the, the difference would be 16, 16 dBm. This is like uh, the margin of signal that you have uh, available until the the link is broken down so the better the margin the the bigger the margin the better because um, if if you miscalculated something uh, for example if your line loss is not 3 dBm's if it's higher and you don't know um, you will have that margin to overcome the any any mistake you might uh, input in um, in your data so as you can see just create the site, set the set the locations, set your radios, the antenna gains, the losses, and um, it will simulate and give you the numbers you need. It will give you the distance, and the most important thing is this: is the signal at the receiving and the fade margin. So, fairly simple. I'm gonna add to my links. I have the button here. I will be. This will save save it, so I can I can consult it right now. See my links, it's the last one I created, link A to B. View the link, and here I have it. Right now I cannot ch I cannot change anything after I saved it. I cannot change the the location of this site. I can change the location, but I have to do it by hand according with uh, with coordinates. I can do it, I'm just gonna show you my sites. Site A I can do modify. As you can see, I cannot drag and drop uh, on the map. So I have to do it, but by the coordinates. So there you have it. This is a very, very easy to use software once you get to know it. There's no big, uh, complicated things with it. 
Uh, I might do um, another tutorial about this uh, coverage. Just gonna show you. You can have multiple links, by the way. We're just doing a link from one site to another. You can have uh, like three, four, five sites connected all together. Um, this is coverage. In this case, the coverage is to draw on a, on a map the coverage of your um, of your antenna. It's quite useful to know where your signal reaches because it draws uh, uh, with a color. It colors a map telling where your signal reaches. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. This is a very simple software to use. Uh, if you like my video, subscribe. I know some of you already subscribed. Thank you very much for all of those. So keep updated. Thank you.